Remember Fall 2022, one of the second season we have recently with Chainsaw Man? Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. Ochi the Rock. Mob Psycho Season 3, Blue Lock, Spy Family Second Core, Gundam Witch from Mercury, Eminence and Shadow, and Akiba Meat War, among others. That was one heck of a season. But I would argue that the next season, Spring 2023, will either be more stacked or at least as stacked as the Winter 2022 season. If I checked correctly, there are a total of 36 new series, which including continuing series, movies, OVAs, and special episodes, there are 53 series that I will be mentioning in this video, and that is considering I will only be mentioning the ones I feel like mentioning. To begin with, we have 3 newcomers, all the way from Shonen Jump, which I consider as Spring 2023's biggest 3 newcomers. Firstly, the final member of the Dark 3 to finally receive an anime adaptation by MAPPA, Jigo Kuraku aka Hell's Paradise. Then we will be having the Green Buff King himself, finally animated and mashal by A1 Studio, and my personal most anticipated anime not only this season but the entire year because as a newcomer to manga, it is one of my favorite mangas of all time, Oshinoko, which will be produced by Doga Kobo. I believe these three titles alone will come close to challenging the big boys from the winter 2022. Manga Plus or in general Shonen Jump readers will surely be eating well next season, and if those three are not enough, we will also have Demon Slayer and Doctor Stone Season 3. But of course, that's not all next season has to offer, those are just the major Shonen Jump players, so I'm going to try my best to list all the anime next season, and for the new anime, speed summarize them, and if I feel like it, briefly give my thoughts on them. Let's begin. Number 1. Jigo Kuraku, also known as Hill's Paradise. The Hologa in Death Row, the Hologabi Maru, an infamous cold-hearted ninja, faces his execution with no fear. However, after multiple failed attempts of his execution, he met a Simon of the Decapitator clan who revealed Gabi Maru's secret of actually wanting to live to return to his wife. For one final chance for survival, he has to partake in a mission which is to venture into a quote-unquote paradise island with a group of other Death Row criminals to obtain the elixir of life. I don't need to speak much for this series, a member of the Dark 3, great artwork, great character cast, promising story, it's MAPPA, hopefully the anime can capture the violence of the series. All you need to remember is Harry Potter plus One Punch Man. I am 80% sure Mashal is going to be the top anime of the season if it is adapted well, simply because of meme bias and the sheer amount of memeable events in the series. Oh and of course if it is not delayed. Despite being memeable though, when the series delivers, it delivers. Not gonna lie, I don't get why people blow the series up to be a really dark show. Believe me, it's not as dark as how people brought it up to be. It's way darker. Actually though, I genuinely think it's not that dark of a series, and that's only half of the charm of the show. All I'm gonna say is that the series is a slice of life commentary on the entertainment industry. I won't, or to be exact, I can't mention the general idea of the story, cause if I do, the show will get spoiled and I don't wanna spoil. But I do wanna say that I'm curious as to how they are gonna adapt the show, cause it's not exactly a plot-ish story. Produced by Dogakobo as well, one of my favorite studios because of their name, this couldn't get any better. Oh, one final thing, if you guys see a girl named Kana Arima, make sure to vote for her for the best girl of the year. A human who was born cursed ended up being a skeleton necromancer who only seeks peace but instead gets targeted by the kingdom as he was about to be slain by the hero he reincarnated into the modern era. And while still retaining his necromancer abilities, he gets involved in some underground mafia type work. All I'm hoping is that the anime can capture the dark tone of the story, especially the background of the MC and the psychopathic female lead. I'm surprised the title of this show isn't that time I got reincarnated into a fantasy world and saved the world, but I somehow returned to my original world when I was trapped, so I've been living a gloomy life for 16 years and maxed out my puberty, but then I went back again to the same fantasy world. The world finest hero gets reincarnated in the same world with his classmates. I almost thought that it was just my high school teachers who taught me the concept of being concise. 
our bullied protag enters the door into a fantasy world where he becomes OP. As he levels up in the fantasy world, the changes he experiences there also occur in the real world when he returns. Not gonna lie, despite the title, this show looks kinda promising. Something quite interesting to look forward next season is the anime of the VTuber Kizuna Ai, one of if not the world's first VTuber. The main character is however not Kizuna Ai but rather Miracle, a girl who idolizes Kizuna Ai and enters into a school that specifically trains aspiring VTubers. Dystopian world, inside the walls, robots take care of the children, outside the walls, monsters and ruin. We follow the main characters exploring this world. Looks good other than the fact that Disney Plus has secured the license. A slightly deranged boy aspires to murder the class idol, but after being confronted by this class idol, romantic developments occur. Kimi no Todoki but younger. Akane got dumped by your boyfriend for another girl he met on the same online RPG Akane and him played together. Kinda big L for the boyfriend there, I mean. This girl played a game to be with you and even entered the same guild together. After she got dumped though, Akane kept on re-encountering another member of the guild. This guy. And of course, he happens to be a hot Kudere male protagonist in real life. They keep on meeting one another and romantic developments occur. It's being produced by Madhouse, the manga has been one of the top mangas in the Mangamo app for quite a while now, so I'm looking forward to the anime. With no parents left, Ichiro Kuga not only works as a mangaka but also has to support his two younger siblings. After his two assistants left him and he was approaching his breaking point, the beautiful but also extraordinary Shiori Goshiki applied to become his new assistant and not long after asked the male protagonist to marry her. The shoujo anime of this season. Female lead got reincarnated only to be fated to be killed by her fiancé. So she fakes a marriage with someone stronger than her fiancé, the Duke Noah Winnight. But then she begins to regret that decision. We follow the school and social life of a socially awkward child prodigy from the countryside who entered an elite school in Tokyo. The King of Beasts finds his 99th human sacrifice intriguing as the girl is neither scared of him nor the other beasts because this girl has no home or family to return to. The King of the Beasts finds favor in the girl and we follow the girl to become the Queen of the Beasts, another shoujo romance for this season. And the final romance anime of the season which I save for last cause it's the romance anime I'm most excited for despite not having read the source. While running an errand to his school's astronomy observatory, the male lead who has insomnia considers the observatory as a nice place to sleep. But apparently a popular girl from her school who also has insomnia was already occupying the observatory. Then we follow both of them as they find comfort in the observatory and potentially in the presence of one another. There's also Yuri is my job but I'm not sure if this series is actual Yuri romance or just a casual girl's relationship. In short, a girl tripped and fell on another girl, breaking her arm and now has to cover for her job in a cafe. The MC learned that his daughter is being abused by his boyfriend and later even discovered that the boyfriend is a member of a crime syndicate and also has a history of murdering his girlfriends. So after killing the boyfriend together with his wife, they tried their best to protect their family. Our MC got sacrificed and reincarnated into another world, but another world where life and death is also in the hands of the government. He died as he tried to prevent the execution of one of his friends, but again got reincarnated by his original world's deity. The MC reincarnates as an aristocrat and after receiving a divine blessing and a harem, he is now so OP that he has to hide his powers. To reclaim Earth, humanity fights back against mechanical aliens using actresses, girls who are able to use Alice Gears. A 
after dying, our MC got isekai but instead of him being OP, his sister isekai along with him is the one who's OP. A bullied boy accidentally uses an ancient artifact that makes all the bad girls head over heels for him. Male Idol Anime An alien wants to destroy Earth until she realized how cute cats are. The new Pokemon. What am I supposed to say? It's the new Pokemon. A story about an elf who is an otaku, but also has shrine duties. Duties. Uh. The demon portal which was sealed some time ago has begun to open, therefore the hero who once sealed the portal has to seal the portal once again, but he died because he fell into a pitfall trap, a farmer's setup, a necromancer then transferred the farmer's soul into the hero's body to continue the mission. Mr. Protag wanted to sell the cafe of his late grandmother, but then... And now begins a rom-com harem show. The son of the inventors of perception art enters into an elite art school alongside his friend who aspires to be a perception artist, going to the same school as their childhood friend who once had an incident with the two of them. Violin Prodigy lost interest in violin after parents' divorce, after hearing a girl play the violin and the girl telling him about the high school with a prestigious orchestra, they spend time together and potentially leading to the MC rediscovering his love for the violin. Looking forward to see more music anime. In a world where otaku culture was purged by the Chinese streaming service Bilibili, Otaku Hero, yes there's a name of the MC, Alongside three magical girls who admire him, fight for otaku freedom rights. The side characters of this show include JSCF Otaku, Train Otaku, Train Otaku, that's the thing, Anime Otaku, Idol Otaku, Pro Wrestling Otaku, and Game Otaku. Creative. I'm surprised the show legit looks insanely amazing based off the trailer. We follow a group of girls following their dream to become a world die star which are stage performers. Performing art sounds like a nice genre or theme to explore, cute girls, nice personalities, cute song in the PV, I'll consider it as the cute girls show of the season. Not much info on this anime, maybe since it is an original anime, but it looks like we follow an MC join an undercover organization called the Marginal Service, and we follow them in their mission against enemies, maybe aliens. Worth a shot. Humans now live on the moon and we follow a game called Tosuchu Great Mission where participants run from androids until countdown reaches zero, whoever succeeds wins. This anime is inspired by a Japanese game show of the same name. So yeah, that was the last new series. And now for a bunch of continuing series, OVAs, and films that I just would like to mention. Demon Slayer Season 3, Doctor Stone Season 3, Tonikawa Season 2, Ancient Megas Pride Season 2, Ranking of Kings Bonus Episode, Isekai Smartphone Season 2, Eden Zero Season 2, Kuma 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 Bear Season 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 2, Tokyo New New Mew Season 2 2 2, Cute Girls Doing Golf Season 2, Cute Girls Doing Mecha Season 2, Cute Girls Doing Idols, Cute Girls Doing Magic, Cute Girls Doing Explosions, Oregaru OBA, Princess Principal Crown Handle Movie 3, Psychopaths Providence Movie, and Color X Malice, which will be separated into a two-part movie, one in May and one in June. What do you think? For majority of the newcomers, I give summaries according to their synopsis, so apologies for any mistakes. Feel free to correct me down in the comment sections alongside if there are any anime that I should have mentioned. Feel free to also let me know your thoughts on the next season, cause not gonna lie, the first three I mentioned are pretty big enough, but with the interesting romance anime, the other newcomers and the continuing animes like Demon Slayer, Konosuba, and Birdie Wing, oh and also the delayed Winter 23 animes, maybe. Uh, Kubo seem to be continuing next season, but we're still not sure about Nier Aikashi and Misfit of Demon King. But nevertheless, next season seems to be pretty fat. But of course, that is considering the adaptations will be good, but I'm feeling pretty optimistic. <laughs>